Hello and welcome. Uh, my name is Steve. I'm with Do Education, and this is another free English video that I'm doing. I have just finished the free English lessons that I do every day from Monday to Friday, and you are more than welcome to join. All you need to do is go to study-english-now.com and you can join me. I also have a free English website for you. You will find it all when you register here. Follow us on Twitter, subscribe to my YouTube channel. So today's idioms that we will talk about are hip, be joined at the hip. Now hip is a part of your body. It's above the knee and lower than the waist and it's around the thigh area. And if you say that you that two people are joined at the hip, you mean that they are very friendly with each other and spend more time together than is usual. So oftentimes you will hear married couples, they spend a lot of time together or either with their significant other. So you can say they are joined at the hip. Sometimes brother and sister, they will say if they spend a lot of time, you can say they are joined at the hip. It can be any any two people basically. And the next one is hit the deck. I have heard hit the deck in America and Canada more um, than hit the dirt. Hit the deck, again the only way you can use this is if it's a dangerous situation. Uh, you have to be saying it for quickly to fall to the ground. And in this case, a shooting is very unfortunate, but it's a dangerous situation and they're yelling, hit the deck, it means fall down right now. And you can read the definitions here. As I am reading the words, this is designed so that you will have a chance to hear what the words are about and how to say and pronounce them before we look at the article. So the first word, is brief, brief, era, era, emperor, emperor, empress, empress, Mesopotamia, Mesopotamia, equinox, equinox, Solstice, solstice, shift, shift, civil, civil, official, official, declare, declare, worship, worship. Establish. Establish. Go to the next page. Force. Force. Root. Root. Ritualize. Ritualize. Ritual. Ritual. Reenact reenact, enact, enact, proliferate, proliferate, abolition, abolition, medieval, medieval, pagan, pagan, impregnate, impregnate, Commemorate, commemorate, abolish, abolish, comprise, comprise, and finally leap year is talking about the extra day that is in the calendar every four years this extra day shows up. Okay, so today we're talking about the origin of the new year. 
The New Year is the world's most popular celebrated festival. Perhaps everybody would like to know how these celebrations begin, from where it originated, and what is so important about the festival. Let's give you an insight to the origin of this grand event in a brief form. Origin of New Year dates back to the era of emperors. They thought of celebrating a special day which should dot a day for beginning and end of the New Year. First, New Year celebrations were noticed in Mesopotamia around 2000 years. It was celebrated at the time of equinox in mid-March by the Egyptians, Persians, Phoenicians, while Greeks celebrated it on winter solstice. Now I just wanted to point out should dot a day. Dotting, if you put a dot on something, you're making notice of it. So to dot a day would be making it aware or notice. Okay. Ancient New Year calendar. First New Year celebrations were noticed in Meso Mesopotamia around 2000 years. It was celebrated at the time of equinox in mid-March by Egyptians, Persians, and Phoenicians, while Greeks celebrated it on winter solstice. solstice. As per the ancient Roman calendar, New Year fell on March 1st. This calendar just had 10 months and March was the first month of the year. The calendar originated by the cycles of the moon beginning in spring ending with autumn planting. Autumn planting is suggesting that it is the time of when you will start to plant your harvest or plant the seeds in your farm. Sometimes in Canada, well, you, most often in Canada, you will plant your seeds in the spring because in the autumn, which is also fall time, when the leaves are falling off the trees, it begins to get cold and there's no planting. But somewhere in the world, there is an autumn planting. January 1. Now it says actually January 1, but what happens when people read, it's very important, even though it's not here, but it's important to say the ST, so you should still say January 1st, again, even if it's not here. So you can say January 1st, an official date of New Year celebrations. The Roman Emperor Julius Caesar officially declared January 1st, there it is again, to be a new year in 46 BC. Romans worshipped God Janus who had two faces, one looking forward and the other looking backward. Two faces means he had two ways of thinking, two ways of ideas, two ways of speaking, oftentimes depending on who he was speaking to. The month of January was named after this Roman god and it gave an idea to the emperor to establish January as a gate to the new year. It is said Caesar celebrated January 1st new year by ordering the revolutionary Jewish forces to root back. People began new year celebrations on January 1st after many years. They ritualized the beginning of the year by acting and reenacting the world of the past before peace proliferated. People learned January as first of the month the year of the year and with this tradition of following Julian calendar. So next I just want to talk about um, a few things here. Again you see March 25 so you should say March 25th. December 25th. Here is what you call Roman numerals. So this would be Pope Gregory X meaning 10 and each line meaning 1. So it's Pope Gregory 13th. You can go and register at study-english-now.com. By all means, email me and tell me how you celebrate it and I hope someday that you, you can become a student. Again, I'm Steve with Do Education. Happy New Year and take care everyone. Bye now.